Hey guys, we're in my kitchen. It's um, Wednesday, which means my work week for school is almost done. And it also means that I should be thinking about going to bed because it's late in the night. But instead, I am here making some cookies for one of my very good friends at work. I know most people have cake, cupcake for their birthdays, but this particular friend of mine enjoys molasses cookies. So usually I try to make them for her for her birthday. Unfortunately, because I've been a little busy with the whole, you know, maybe going to Alaska, but not going to Alaska thing. Um, <laughs> kind of forgot that her birthday was, you know, tomorrow. So here I am baking cookies in my kitchen at nine o'clock at night. But one thing that my friends at work know, if it's their birthday, they can pretty much anticipate some type of special treat on that day at work. So, molasses cookies, it should be. If you're interested or you need a good recipe for said molasses cookies, just drop a comment and I will be more than happy to share my molasses cookies recipe with you. Just be warned that the recipe, the small version of the recipe, will yield you about seven dozen cookies. Yeah, and that's cutting the recipe in half. Uh, you're more than welcome to try to cut that in half. I can't guarantee how it will turn out though. But nonetheless, please uh, follow along. You'll hear a little, you know, ha-ha stories in here. Um, but enjoy it. It is a little bit longer than most of my videos. But, um... Hopefully you will finish it because, um, well, you get to see the end product of the cookies. And if you're interested, um, there may be more cooking slash baking videos in the future because I do make some mean peanut butter fudge. All right, folks, have a good one. Hey, guys. So, um, pardon the uh, mess in the background. Um, you are in Tough Mama's kitchen. Um, Great Danes. Um, funny, haha. -ha. So my daughter is technically a freshman in college. Um, well, technically, she's actually going into her junior year because she took so many advanced courses in high school. She had enough credits when she started college to really start as like a sophomore. Long story short, I'll talk about that in another um, episode, but. She started her first year, uh, her first semester of her first year in college at the University of Albany, which were the Great Danes, but after one semester she realized she wanted to do a different study, so um, she ended up um, transferring to the University of Buffalo. The sound that you hear in the background are some cookies. Um, so I'm making some cookies this evening. Um, one of my... I don't use this word very often. One of my friends, I don't really have a lot of female friends. That'll be an episode in itself, trust me. One of my female friends has a birthday tomorrow at work. Um, and I have known this woman. Um, I've worked at my school now. This is my ninth year. Um, so I've known her for nine years. But I would say we've probably been really close, maybe the last five or six years. Um, and probably one of the things that we uh, bonded over was the fact that we both love St. Patrick's Day. It's hands down one of our favorite holidays. And um, because we both work in the middle school, um, we definitely always dress up for St. Patrick's Day. And um, this year I really rocked an outfit and um, <clears throat> she may or may not have giggled at me when she saw my outfit, which is okay. As she has her birthday tomorrow and she's not much in the whole cake, cupcake thing, but she loves molasses cookies. So unfortunately I kind of forgot that her birthday was tomorrow. So after my adventures today, after school and everything, I came home and I made some molasses cookies. The recipe, if you are interested, hit me up in the comments and I will give you my tried and true recipe for molasses cookies. 
uh, but it legit makes the small batch legit makes about seven dozen cookies um, so the dough itself is um, that's what it looks like and I'm getting down to the nitty-gritty so there's my dough so you roll the ball and then you roll it in some granulated sugar and then um, you bake the cookies and um, typically I only make them for Christmas they are one of the standards that we do in my house around Christmas time uh, usually uh, you know I make I would say one to two batches of them during Christmas time so you're looking at about seven to fourteen dozen molasses cookies uh, having said that um, because they are my friends favorite cookies um, I decided for her birthday I would make them for her she doesn't know I'm making them I'm not gonna lie I'm not giving her all seven dozen because my kiddo, my baby girl, is coming home from college on Friday. She too loves molasses cookies. And so she's going to have some when she comes home. My daughter's boyfriend, whom she has been dating, oh my gosh, at least three years in June. I have a feeling those two will probably end up getting married. That in itself will be a whole other episode. And let me tell you about that. Uh, they um, both enjoy the cookies. He, every time he knows that I'm making the cookies, he says they remind him of Christmas. They smell like Christmas to him. So he too will be getting some cookies. And there is another woman whom I work with at school that truly enjoys these cookies. So I'm going to sneak some into her mailbox at school tomorrow too. Because it is Teacher Appreciation Week this week. The uh, week of May 5th and so I thought I'd let this other teacher know that I do appreciate her even though I don't see her very often and so I thought why not throw some in her mailbox too so uh, anyway with these molasses cookies you will maybe hear a little sound in the background and you might be wondering what is she doing well my aunt ever since I was a little girl has taught me how to make cookies and <clears throat> she always made me roll the cookies whenever we made Christmas cookies and probably about I don't know maybe when I was maybe middle school age or something she realized hey one of these ice cream scoop things makes the perfect size cookies and so you take the scoop and then you scoop it and then you pop it in your hand and then you make the nice little ball and then you can roll it in the sugar and then you just plop it onto your parchment paper which is the best stuff in the world I don't know why I never used parchment paper before but then um, you just do the standard 12 cookies on the cookie sheet and then the secret to these molasses cookies the absolute secret says you're supposed to bake them 9 to 11 minutes. I take them out exactly at 9 minutes and then I let them bake for about another minute to two on the cookie sheet itself on my island. Um, <clears throat> and so far everyone who has them likes them. Now sometimes if I'm doing them for a holiday like Christmas I will use red or green sugar, the more coarse sugar that you can find um, in the specialty stores, the specialty baking stores. Sometimes uh, for my daughter's graduation, we found some sugar crystals that were the color of the Great Danes, the purple and gold. We, I, I've done different colors with the molasses cookies. The only thing, because the molasses dough is on the darker side, some of the colors don't show up so well. You can always use whatever color sugar you want. Some people don't put sugar on their cookies. You don't have to. Uh, I choose to. I like how they taste. Now, one of the things that I have found 
over the years of making cookies. Sometimes they get poofy. Sometimes they flatten out. The secret is, if you use shortening, if you use butter, if you use margarine, really kind of depends on how you want your cookies. That'll be another episode. We'll have to talk all about the idea of using butter, using margarine, whichever one you want. Sorry, I didn't mean to put my hand over the um, camera there. But I'm getting ready to put this second to last batch into the oven. I have made, <coughs> pardon me, I have made about mm, close to seven dozen now. Uh, I had some people here tonight and they were eating some of the raw cookie dough. That always seems to happen in my house. But I just wanted to give you an idea that even a tough mama sometimes likes to bake. And I do it because, well, I do have a few friends and I like to let them know that I love them. And for people's birthdays, I think that they should be recognized. And most of the time, mamas in general get overlooked. And this, this particular woman, wow, she's one of the toughest mamas I know. She has had one heck of a life. And to say that she's a fierce woman is putting it mildly. She has endured some of the things that no person should ever have to endure. And she is one of the women that I look up to. Even though she's younger than me, um, I consider her a role model for me. And I consider her someone that I greatly admire. She makes me laugh a great deal. And she has taught me what it means to be graceful and what it means to be hmm, true to myself and to look things in the eye and say, not today, I'm not doing it today. And just to kind of say, all right world, you may knock me down, but I'm going to face you again tomorrow. And no matter what life seems to throw this woman, she definitely stands up to it. And she may have that fake smile some days, but her genuine heart is there every single day. And I love this woman so much. And she knows who she is. So... Happy birthday, fierce mama. You know who you are. I hope you have a fabulous day today. And from one Irish girl to another, enjoy the cookies. And remember, it's okay to take a moment, live a little, but just remember, you got to breathe.